Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mike the Quad, Elgato partner here. I'm gonna show you how to set up your Spotify Premium on your Elgato Stream Deck. Before we get this started, you're gonna need Spotify Premium or this isn't gonna work at all. Okay, let's go ahead and switch the camera. Over on the bottom right, you're gonna go ahead and see what the Stream Deck looks like in real time. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up the Stream Deck program and it's gonna show exactly what it is here. You're gonna see on the Stream Deck itself on the bottom right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the store. Now under the search bar, we're gonna type in Spotify or at least start in a, to type in Spotify. And you're gonna find one that's made by Bar Raider. Click install. Gonna go ahead and install. Boom. Now you can go ahead and close this if you want to. And we're gonna go back into our program, our Steam Deck program. When you scroll down over here on the right, you are going to see this, Spotify Bar Raider. It's not gonna have the Spotify symbol. Click that. Now you're gonna have a whole bunch of functions that you can assign to a hotkey. But before we do that, we're gonna scroll all the way up and we're gonna go ahead and find navigation. Under navigation, there's create folder. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one to create a folder. And let's go ahead and put the folder right here. Now it just gives you an icon to make it look like a, just you know a regular folder. But I have set from file, We'll go to our Stream Deck icons. And I have a whole bunch of icons right here, which I'm going to use this Spotify one. And now it is a folder. So when we either double click on here, it'll pop up. And then there's an arrow right here. And as you can see, it pops up right here on the actual Stream Deck. And it is live. You just press the button. And boom. Okay, now the next thing for us to do is in order for us to use any of these functions right here and assign them to a hotkey on the Stream Deck, we're gonna have to connect our Spotify Premium. So let's go ahead and drag an icon. And then now you're gonna see this pop up. Spotify Premium required in order for this plugin to work. Free accounts will not work. This is a limitation imposed by Spotify. So if you have Spotify Premium, go ahead and click Get Started. And now you're going to find something right here where it says Client ID and Client Secrets over in this area. It says you will require a new app for this version. Follow these instructions. You know, you'll provide you with the client ID and the client secret for your Spotify account. And in order to get instructions on how to get those, you just click here. On your web browser, this will pop up. You will see all the instructions on how to obtain the client ID and the client secret. First, before we wanna do any of this, we're gonna scroll all the way down here and you're gonna see under three, See this right here, this redirect URL, copy that. You're gonna need that in a second. So it says right here, warning, an active Spotify premium subscription is required to use the plugin. You can subscribe to Spotify premium here. I already have a Spotify premium account. So the first thing that we need to do is open Spotify developer dashboard. It'll log us in. Log in your credentials. And as you can see, I have a couple things right here. So what we're gonna do is we will create a brand new one. So under the dashboard, right here, you're gonna see create app. Now under create app, you're gonna have app name. So we're gonna call this um, stream deck test, okay? Under the app description, you can put anything. So we're gonna put subscribe to Mike the Quad on YouTube. Boom. Website, 
on the website here, you can leave this blank. Now for the redirect URL, where we copied earlier, we're gonna go ahead and paste that there. Click I understand and agree, sell your soul, hit okay. And now you are set up. Now all we need to do is we're gonna go to settings now and under settings, here is your client ID, which you will click that. And then you'll go back over into the Spotify integration window, paste your ID here. Now you will click here for viewing your client secret. I'm gonna have this blurred out, but we click here and then right in this area, client secret, and then you will see the actual tab right here. On the right, you can click to copy that and then hide it. Go back to your Spotify integration window, paste it into there, click next, and you will agree. And as soon as you agree, everything closes here. And then now it says that your Spotify is connected. You can go ahead and close your browser window. You can grab this and you can close that. And then now you can go back to your stream deck. Now what we can do is go back to Spotify and you can see that we have the play button and now the play button has all these options. What's nice right here, device, you click here, you click your PC that you have your account being played from. Mine right here, I have it as MTQ stream. Uh, the song name, you'll see it displayed on this key. And then it can also show you what format that you want. And then if you want to revoke your priv privileges um, for Spotify, you just scroll all the way to the bottom on any button and you just hit revoke. So I'm going to go ahead and have that on press and it'll play right there, just like that. And then what I like to do, the next song right there. So then I have a previous song, play, pause, and then I have the next song right there. And then let's see what else you can do. Oh, right here, playlist start. If you have any favorite playlists, you can put them anywhere you want. And there are some other options. You can have it on shuffle if you wanted to. You can also change the volume. You can also mute Spotify if you wanted to. We'll put all these options in here just so you could see what it looks like there. Okay. And now what we'll do is grab one of the playlists. We'll do that device required. And then you can scroll down to see what playlists you want. I'm gonna have one of my buddies right here and you can see image pops up. I'm gonna do this for the same one and then we're gonna do a different pr playlist. Let's do this one, Trash Gang. Now, when we play anything on here, this image will switch. So I'll go ahead and play. And then as you can see, it plays the name. You have it displayed on key and that's how you set it up. And when you want to go back, you just hit this button right here, double click it. And now you're back at your home. Whenever you want to set up or go back into your Spotify, now you have your key and then now everything on your Spotify pops up and you can change the volume or you can mute it if you want to. And then also for changing the volume, you can change the values. And that's pretty much it. You got your Spotify premium all set up on your stream deck and you're good to go. Now you don't have to tab out. You don't have to worry about switching your programs or anything like that. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Now you can control your Spotify without all tabbing mid-match. Like this video if it was helpful and subscribe for more content like this. You can always find me live on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I'm starting my kick journey, so go ahead and check me out on kick. See you then, thanks again, bye.